empowering your life. Welcome to the Sphere. This episode is sponsored by the Houston Housewives of Finance. For more information on increasing your cash flow, becoming your own money manager, and to schedule your complimentary personal finance strategy, contact the Houston Housewives of Finance today at 1-844-700-4463. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertise at the sphere.tv or call us at area code 832-772-7789. Looking to Elite Dental Wellness. At Elite Dental Wellness, Dr. Ashandra Batiste understands that one of the biggest obstacles is dental fear. The vision at Elite Dental Wellness is to ensure every patient is treated with respect, ultimate care, patience, and love. Call us today to make an appointment at area code Y'all, this is your man Ricky Getwood Jr. here, and thank you for tuning in for another episode of Activate All Thing Health and Fitness. Check it out real quick. Take a moment to go on Instagram. Follow me at Ricky Getwood Jr. underscore motivates. And I am here with my co host, my sister, my friend, the famous. What? Famous. I'm, like I'm claiming that. I'm claiming like that famous. That. Leah. Talk like to the that. people, Leah. Yes, yes. What is up, y'all? Happy <laughs> Tuesday. I am Leah Iguatu, also known as Fit. Foodie Lee. Mm -hmm. um, you can follow me on Instagram at Fit Foodie Lee and also check out my blog as well, fitfoodielee.com. What's going on? Man, a lot is going on. Yeah, yeah. So, y'all, you guys know, we always find uh, a very interesting topic, something to talk about every single week, every single week. So, today, our topic is. <laughs> Clean eating. Yes, one of my favorites. One of your favorites. Sure. Oh yeah. It seems like it's one of your favorites. You got happy when you said clean eating. Yes. I kind of got like clean eating. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> so we all know we all know that there's a lot of like misconceptions and uh, a lot of different sayings. Somebody said this is clean, that's clean, but what really is clean eating? Like, let's what, what is. What is clean eating for you? Like, what does it mean? Before we go into our professional <laughs> names and all these different titles and different things like that, like, what is clean eating for you? So, I'll, I'll say this. It's deceptively simple. Deceptively? Deceptively, deceptively simple. simple. It simple. looks like it might be complicated, but it's no, really let's not, Let's say guys. it really, really slow. <laughs> Deceptif deceptively. Deceptively simple. Simple. Okay, cool. What is so that? <laughs> like, that that's, okay, so, first, break it down. That's, that's interesting. <laughs> so, it's basically food in its purest form, in its most natural state, you mm. know, before it's, you know, tampered with right. and processed and, you know, added to and right. all this kind of stuff. So, it's food in its natural form. This is natural form. Mm -hmm, Does that, mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, that's straightforward. I mean, that's, Very I mean, straightforward. Y'all some like super deep meaning mm -hmm. or some nine syllable mm -hmm. word. It's just like the basics. The exactly. Bad, super simple. Leah, mm -hmm. what'd you do this weekend? I had a wonderful weekend, first of all. First really? of all, Black Panther's awesome. Oh, shout out to Black Panther. Yes, for there. sure. Um, that could be a whole other topic. I'll buy it. I know, I know. Have y'all seen it? Oh, it yeah. was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. I got dressed up with my husband. We yeah. both got it our entire I saw it. And saw the movie. Nice too. Um, yeah. But another thing yeah. I got um, to do this weekend, I met, have you guys ever heard of uh, Manko Fit? Mm. Massey Arias? Right. Isn't she awesome? I've been following her on Instagram since 2012. Yeah. And I got to meet her this weekend. Target um, and Kaboom had a, it's called the Play Everywhere Tour. Mm. And they were here in Houston. And I went with a girlfriend of mine and I took my kids and Messi held my kids. Really? Oh my goodness. How'd you feel? Uh, did you have like a starstruck moment? You know what? <laughs> it's okay. Maybe a small Just one. Just a little bit? I, yeah. All right, you know I what? Did. This is, okay, this is uh, this kind of off subject, on subject. But like, okay, you're pretty popular yourself. All right, people okay. know you. Right? They know what's on. So like, if somebody see you on Instagram, they're probably like, oh my God. <laughs> I, you know what I did yeah. see a, a couple girl girls out there um, mm -hmm. that say they follow me and it's just it's such a surreal feeling like right. 
when people say, oh, I'm so nervous to come up to you. No, I'm nervous, too. Like, you don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when you but, met Massey, like, like what was what was your first interaction? Did she did she know you? Or she y'all had an idea? No, she she didn't know me. But okay. um, I, I just she had to tell her how grateful I am for her. Like, she um, she just sets the standard for really? me, you know, in terms of taking care of your body. Um, mm. You know, she's a new mom herself. I, I believe her daughter is now 11 months. And so... Wow. Um, yeah, Kosi, my daughter is 14 months, so they're they're pretty close. But um, she she is just on it. She looks really? amazing. Yeah. She balances um, to the best of her abilities, right. and she's doing it. She's, and she was on the awesome. cover of was it Women's Health magazine? Women's Health magazine. She's been on a couple. I think Parents magazine as well. That's so awesome. she's 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 amazing. Shout out to Massey. Ma- Massey, come check out our show. We're gonna have I you know. on this show <laughs> one day. Massey, we're gonna call. We're gonna hit up. Okay. Get Definitely. online, hit on Instagram, like, come to our show. Let's do, like, a few minutes, all right? Man. I think she'll do it. Y'all That'd have the awesome. connection. Awesome. All right, so <laughs> getting back into uh, clean eating, the bare, the, the basics, the bare, bare minimum. That means what? No GMO. Okay, nothing, no processed food. Uh, right. But, yeah, so right, so here's here's a question for me. All right, so a lot of times something will say it's organic. Mm-hmm. Okay, how are you able to kind of like sift through it and see if it's really organic or not? What is something that you look for? Like if you're just looking at something like, okay, that says organic, but it's really not organic. You know what I mean? That's a good question. Mm-hmm. I look, honestly, here's the thing. I look at a lot of the wor- the ingredients on the back. Mm-hmm, and if mm-hmm. I can't read the ingredients, then, in <laughs> <laughs> why you, you want to be able to pronounce it? Like right. when you recognize yeah. it, you know, that's mono thyro pomerata. I'm like, mm-hmm, what mm-hmm. is if that? If you can't say it, you shouldn't put it in your body. Not right. No, none at all. Don't put it in your body. Mm-hmm, so give us mm-hmm. your rundown. Like what, what is clean? Like what is your, well, well here's, here's mm-hmm. the thing. We already said it's food in its most natural state for mm-hmm. sure. But I also believe it gets a little tricky um, because some um, low to no processed foods can also be considered clean, you know, um, you said low to n- pro- low to no processed okay. food or minimally processed. That's foods. also also considered clean. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Like what? It you gets have an a little tricky or? though. So like, um, if you if you look at whole wheat bread, you know, oh God. you turn around the package, and sometimes the ingredient list is a mile long. So you just have to be careful and you know turn it around and read it for yourself. Look right. at the ingredients and see. Right. Mm-hmm. So low pro so whole wheat would be considered somewhat clean. Whole wheat. Yeah, you said whole. You said whole wheat. Oh, whole, oh. Uh, did I say whole wheat? I mean yeah. whole grain. Whole grain. Okay, yes. I'm like you look because you know that's another thing too. <laughs> that's a, that's, a that's, a, sure. that's a huge difference. I'm glad you said so. Whole mm-hmm. grain versus whole wheat. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so whole grain is what we really really want. Whole grain. Whole yes, grain. Minimally processed. Right, right. Sure. So mm-hmm. when you say a whole wheat. Um, again, You're flip like, it on the mm. back. Like uh, you look yeah. on the back, they still may have a couple <laughs> of things y'all. in there. Like I know, <laughs> and so that's one thing with me. Like somebody, you'll get a piece of bread. You get the wheat bread. And say, oh, it's wheat bread. I mean, it's good for you. It's like right. not necessarily. If and that, if you actually pay attention to the ingredients, honestly, and look at wheat bread versus white bread, it's probably like one or two grams off mm-hmm. from you know. what I mean, as yeah. far as carbs are concerned, as far as the all the ingredients, it's like one or two less ingredients in there. But the only thing that's a big difference is like maybe the fiber. Maybe yeah. have a, maybe a little bit more fiber in there, you know, grain. of a whole grain. But that's about it. It just means you can go to the toilet a little bit more, <laughs> but you're still going to have a whole lot more sugar. Which is a good and thing. Yeah, which yeah. Is, it was a really, really, really good thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, give us something else. Like, so I can ahead. give you some examples or some, some minimally processed grains. Please do. Quinoa. And do quinoa? we know how to, first of all, <laughs> quinoa. <does. laughs> Remember my quinoa story. Quinoa. <laughs> can you tell you want to tell that story? Oh, should I? <laughs> Okay, Look, if you names, just tell story, if you were yeah. ever at a restaurant and your yeah. waiter or waitress pronounces it like it's spelled, <laughs> I just wouldn't trust their advice. I'm just I'm sorry, they, you can't. Yeah. I so quinoa, not quinoa. quinoa. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some quinoa, please? Yeah. Uh, no, we don't have that. Um, yeah. so Good. quinoa, um, quinoa. wild rice, and wild also rice. a big favorite of mine, um, oatmeal. Okay, mm-hmm. you know what? Here's a here's a legit question. So let's say you are you have quinoa, you have uh, your jasmine rice, right? Mm-hmm. Um, what can you put in there to not make it healthy anymore? Because <laughs> I know people are like, yeah, I had you know I had jasmine rice, I had quinoa, and then like, yeah, I just add a little bit of butter to it, I add a little bit of this. I'm like. You kind of defeated the whole yeah purpose, yeah exactly you know, exactly. It's kind of like the same concept with salad. Like if you have a big bowl of 
produce yeah. and you drown it in salad, it's kind of like yeah. you're defeating the purpose, you know? Yeah. You're I, having salad with your dressing. All right, true story. I can't call no names at, but I was at, uh, I went to Salada the other day. I go to Salada. That's, that's, when I'm on the go, I, I'm like, shout out to Salada. We're going to have them on the show too. Yes. And like, <laughs> you guys come over bring here. Samples. We, bring samples. Bring samples. Bring <laughs> samples. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's really, it's clean food. I mean, you just look at it. It's all, mm-hmm. it's nothing's processed. It's just v- meat and vegetables for the most part. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I was at Salada the other day and just so happened, one of my former clients, I'm not calling her names, but you know who you are. Uh, uh, one of my former clients was came in right behind me, mm-hmm. right, I mean, literally right behind me. He's like, hey, man, how you doing? And I'm like, good. And obviously, you've seen everything I ordered. They, when I go to Salada, they already know exactly what I want. Mm-hmm. I, there oh, wow, you are a regular yeah, customer. I'm, I'm, I'm regular. It's kind of expensive, too. But anyway, it's good for you. <laughs> I mean, if you want to go, nothing wrong with Salada at, at all. So uh, more than like what I always do, I never get any dressing. I always add oil mm-hmm. or vinegar. That's it. You know what I mean? That's, that's the main thing. No cheese. No dressing. What? Look at no, you. Oh, man. I'm just like, what's the point? Of but you know, they have that fat free mango that's pretty good. It's like 15 calories per tablespoon or something fat-free crazy. Mm-hmm. That's the dressing? Yes. Oh, I don't know nothing about it. In my mind, all dressing is bad. That's just me. Oh, but okay. Yeah, yeah. So is dressing, that, so is that dressing okay? I would I would recommend that dressing for sure. What it's like it? fifteen fat calorie mango? fat free mango. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's something else you guys can write down: fat free mango. Uh, and yeah. while I'm thinking about it, I just posted a homemade salad dressing recipe to my Instagram last Instagram night. Page? So hmm? what is it again? What did you post? homemade salad dressing? Homemade salad dressing. Mm-hmm. That's what I put on my salads at home. So if homemade you go to my IG, dressing. you can see the recipe in the caption. Homemade. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm curious. I'm sorry. I got to pause. What is? Because <laughs> you know me. I'm, there I'm it is. Excited. There it is. So yeah. what? Um, I use. Um, I know apple cider vinegar is huge. Okay. Um, in the health and fitness community, um, apple have cider to have vinegar. Those ingredients right there. Can you just throw it out there? What? Like in my off the top of yeah, my head. Yeah. Do you have it? Apple cider vinegar. Okay. Garlic. Uh huh. Ah! What else? Mm. Dijon mustard. Uh huh. Agave or honey. Okay. Is that it? Is that olive it? oil. That's olive it. oil. So you technically just gave us a clean ingredients just now. I believe I did. Mm-hmm. Shout out mm-hmm. to the clean ingredients. Well, thank you. <laughs> that would seem that, I'm, in my opinion, and honestly, I mean, I don't even know how many, but I, I, I think you named maybe like seven different mm-hmm, things. Mm-hmm, something like so that. So in my opinion, I always look at this. If it's more than like seven things in there, <laughs> I'm like. Oh, seven ingredients? Yeah. yeah seven think about it. More than likely. It's not healthy at all. So shout out to you for making your homemade dressing. Hey. I need to figure out how to do that. So <laughs> let, let me get back to my story real quick. So I was at right? And I get the same thing over and over and over. Now that I have a better understanding of dressing, maybe I'll go for the fat-free mango. All but right. in my mind, it's like, don't do it. Don't do cheese. Don't do any side dressing. Everything else, go for it. You mm-hmm. Load me up on spinach. Load me up on kale. I'll go all day. So I'm, like, I'm not going to say his name. I'm going to say his name. I almost, <laughs> almost gave you away. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, we're in a line. And he's like, don't look at me right now. I'm like, why, man? What are you Uh-oh. talking about? So I just turned his way. He said, uh, and he's trying to whisper to the guy over the counter. I was like, <laughs> what he want? I'm like, hey, man, look, it's your money, your food, eat what you want. Do your thing. And then so by the time we got in the line, like I said, I, I did have a huge bowl. But I've, you could look at my plate and see nothing but green, mm-hmm. green, green, green. And I yeah. salmon, I th- salmon with everything. And so, and I was like, I, he was like, okay, you could look. Tell me, and like, is this good or bad? And I looked over there, like, literally. And I was like, you got the lettuce okay that's fine i don't even like iceberg lettuce i like spinach me too because they don't have any nutrition value Mm-mm. to me so what's the point of getting it anyway that's like another water. little plug idea <laughs> um and so but he i was like man let me be honest with you like you literally you literally have too much dressing on there it, mm-hmm. it was just drowned in, in like ranch dressing yeah. and, and cheese i said at that point all the nutritional value that you were supposed to get out of your salad it's gone it's all gone <laughs> Just and like that. it's all gone. And with that being said, this portion of our show is sponsored by Houston Housewives of Financing. Do you know that only four states in the United States offer financial education? 30% or more than 7, 7 million of Americans don't pay their bills on time. 39% of Americans carry credit card debt from month to month. And 39% of adults say they don't have enough savings. Don't become one of these statistics. Let Houston Housewives of Finance advise you on increasing your cash flow and becoming your own money manager by scaling your complimentary personal financial strategy. Contact Houston Housewives of Finance today at 1-844-700-4463 or email us at info at Houston Housewives of Finance dot com. Access how you can participate in our complimentary financial uh, literacy workshop near you. Houston Housewives of Finance are Houston Housewives of Finance are the new faces of the new age of financial service. Thank you very much. Shout out to Houston Housewives. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Back into clean eating. 
Yes. Good. Did you grow up eating? How did you grow up eating? First of all, let me just ask. Uh, okay, I'm from Port Arthur. Uh, Most of us know that. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, so, all right. In our culture, let's mm-hmm, just go with mm-hmm. our culture real quick. Um, there wasn't a big support of eating healthy. Right, and clean. Same here. Okay. Same here. Uh, and I think our idea of eating healthy was eating cabbage that was drowned in salt. <laughs> <laughs> drowned in salt and, and what else? And neck bones. <laughs> drown, salt, pork, <laughs> turkey necks. You yeah. name it. It was drowned in all that stuff. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, but I will say, but, uh, you know, later, um, when I was younger, my grandfather did have a garden. He had mm-hmm. a garden until so he grew uh, carrots. Yeah, he grew carrots and different things like that. So for a short period of time, while he was able to, he had a garden, you know, which was cool. So we ate, we ate our cat. We actually had real cabbage, but then like I could say it was, at that now I'm realizing now he actually had like carrots I mean carrots and cabbage out of the ground but it was cooked with everything bad yeah <laughs> so it was kind of like they didn't understand oh again the concept of eating clean yeah, yeah um, same and here. then some of the some of the things they thought were eating clean like potatoes was just uh, everything that was added to it took away from the actual yeah. nutritional value so I think that wow, that made me think of my mom's potatoes but they were covered in cheese but they were so good so good yeah you know so I think that what we thought was healthy yeah was like drowned in everything bad yeah you know really i mean wasn't. what about yeah, yourself I grew, up, I grew up on you know my mom um was a home cook mm-hmm. she cooked breakfast lunch and dinner but um you know they did their best but we we also ate um, a lot of frozen foods and um lunchables and you oh know sugary God. cereals that are you know kind of marketed towards little kids and stuff like that so yeah. um you know but when you know better you do be- do better so yeah and that's another thing why why i don't understand why it, no, that's a whole other conversation. But like we used to eat, like uh, Zumo sausages, and for the longest oh, we thought that those. Zumo sausages was, and we thought it was good. It was like it was meat, you know what I mean? I'm just like now I'm like that was the worst sodium bomb. Yeah. Oh my god! Like yeah. I don't even remember the exact content in it, but I know it was just one sausage. It was maybe like 300 grams of, of sodium. So I'm just like <laughs> we used to eat that with ramen noodles, <laughs> like nothing, uh, and, and, <laughs> and cheese with the noodles. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. All extra right, so flavoring packet. Extra yes. Flavor, yeah. Hey, man, you can get that flavor packet. Let me get that. Check it man. out. Man. But, you know, that, and that led to, obviously, most of our people had high blood pressure, diabetes, yeah. and everything else. You've been putting so much sodium, so many artificial things into your system that your body can't push it out fast enough. Right. You know, it can't push it out fast enough. So we left with everything that's in our system, and your mm-hmm. body's like, oh, how do I do all this stuff? Mm-hmm. You, you can't. You can't. You can't. So, real quick. Facebook Live. <laughs> we ask that you subscribe to our show on all major platforms, including iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, and Stitcher. Review our show in iTunes with constructive feedback. Share this Facebook Live video and the entire show with your family and friends. Donate to our mission to be enriched and inspiring content each and every week. You can donate at www.thesphere.tv slash donate. Before we get off, go real quick on your phone and follow us right now at the sphere bam <laughs> yeah so like literally Please, thank you it was it was one of those things um I, I it kind of and now i guess it bothers me now not knowing that they didn't make enough attempt to help us eat clean mm-hmm. you know what I, mean? I feel like sometimes they just didn't know you know it was lack of knowledge as well you think our so? par- our, from our, on our parents part yeah i do they okay. just didn't know, but I well, mean, like I said, they did their best. But yeah, well, I take I take I want to take that back because like later on, so when there was a big cancer scare in our family, obviously mm-hmm. my, my grandmother had cancer. Then I think everybody became like aware of trying to cause More con- just, uh-huh. yeah, she started eating vegetables, started eating fruit, and different things like that. Oh, I see. Okay, you know what I mean. I yeah. think it had to be something that was like, you know, that's, yeah. that scare you to, get, to to like make you want to do better, mm-hmm. do better. You know what I mean. So, but now. Now in 2018, we oh, got the no internet. Excuse. You uh-huh. got Google. You got Siri. You got Alexa. Oh, you yeah. have <laughs> us. <laughs> all that. You all have, that. You know, you have so many resources mm-hmm. to like literally sit back and figure out the bare essentials, the right. basics. That's all, all, all you need. Like no literally, excuse. unless mm-hmm. you have like a particular issue, you need to see a nutritionist. Like I need this type of food. I got to have this. Mm-hmm. Get it. I get it. But for the most part, if you just eat food that's clean, eat food that come out of the ground. Grains, right, you know that's what I mean. It. Stick and to that. Oh, here's here's a question, and if you know it, great. If you don't, it's okay. I need to ask this question myself. So I was told that if you eat red meat, okay, you can actually go up to. I know it sounds gross. You can actually go to a cow and keep, cut the meat off a cow and eat it. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to necessarily cook it. So long story short, anything that you have to cook or prepare is not good for you. 
Okay, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Just like sushi. Think about it. Sushi well, is raw. Raw. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, so anything that you can just eat without preparing mm-hmm. is okay to eat. Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard that? Yeah. Uh, when it comes to meat, yeah, no, no. and I wouldn't try that. <laughs> but mm, I don't know. I mean, you should try it on. Let us know. Do yeah. it. Do <laughs> That's gonna be our, our another show. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get a big steak and just eat it raw. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, funny. Even now, when my husband orders a steak, mm. he likes it medium well. Yeah, I, I can't see any any blood, but any see? pink. Blah, no, so he tells them to just take a corner of his steak and torch it. Make it well done yeah. so I can have some. I can't you, do. But I think that kind of goes along with what I'm saying, though. Because some people like it just <laughs> rare. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I can't. But it's either, <laughs> either way it goes, you're going to get a little blood off it. You oh, know that. Goodness. You know? And so, all right. So being somebody who's in the fit world, understand food a little bit. Uh, obviously, too much of anything is bad for you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How do you feel about red meat? Is that considered, like, I mean, obviously, you know, there's a whole process with food nowadays. But... Uh, if it's prepared properly without all mm-hmm. the growth hormones, red meat's okay. In my opinion, yes. Yes. In moderation, yes. Can we just eat it just raw? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say all that, but. <laughs> right, right. I think that's something, uh, I mean, obviously to be considered because, like myself, um, oh, this is one thing we talked about this in the previous show with blood types. You know, uh, mm-hmm. I'm B positive, so I'm, I should and can, according to the chart, eat as much red meat as possible. Mm-hmm. Like, and I'll be A OK. I've tested it out. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, and I will say, I did, um, I feel like. For lack of a better term, my testosterone actually increased. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Because red meat is supposed to increase your testo- testosterone level, uh, and I get I did get a whole lot bulkier, but I also felt sluggish mm-hmm. eating some because I was just like, oh uh. yeah, I can eat this red meat. Mm-mm. Give me the steaks. I'm <laughs> every day. Give me the red meat. Give me some good clean meat. Uh, so here, how do we pay attention to when we picking our meat and our food to see if that's actually prepared? Right, uh, is that clean or not? Does it have any growth hormones in it? Because sometimes they'll say, yeah, no GMO, but then you look on it and be like, you know, hormonally injected or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, re- read the label. Yeah. Whatever the label says, you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Do you, have a, uh, you don't have a garden in your house? I, I would love one. Yeah. But I, I kill house plants, so. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm just lucky my, my children are alive. Yeah, I, my mom had a green thumb. Uh-huh. She had the garden. She did the plants. Mm-hmm. I wasn't so lucky. So No? Yeah. No. I just so, have to purchase mine, yeah. Right. <laughs> so eating clean should be a lifestyle. Indeed. I, I think I got my first taste of eating clean when I competed in um my first bodybuilding competition mm-hmm. back in two thousand twelve. That was my first run in. So fourteen weeks of no processed foods whatsoever. And my body loved it. Really? Honestly, yes. Do you think it's like a it's a it's a mental thing and you like psych yourself out thinking that you gotta have you know Something bad, so say. Because if you eat, uh, if your body is fine, you're eating clean. Do you did you did you crave something un- I, a process or unhealthy, so say? I did in the yeah. beginning. Um, I craved sugar, like it was it was bad. Really, like the shakes. And, yes, but um, once it you know got out of my system, um, I, I didn't. I was released from the, you see you the chains. The shakes? Yes, really? it was. Te- <laughs> oh my goodness, those night cravings are are. I know y'all can. I know y'all feel yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. But um. Yeah, yeah, once she, I got it out of my system, um, the cravings went away. Okay, what's it? What's it? What was a good substitute? Like when you were craving sugar? Oh, stevia. stevia, stevia. I recommend stevia. It's all it's natural. Stevia. It's from a plant. <laughs> um, I know people say um, some types of stevia um, has an aftertaste, but the kind I get, and I'll actually put it on my blog. The kind I get does not, and I love it. I use it in coffee, tea. And you can get stevia in any store. You don't have to go Anywhere. to a Whole Foods store. To get it. Um, no. No. It should be in any grocery okay, store. Okay, cool. Oh, speaking of Whole Foods, um, if you go, <laughs> if you go to a Whole Foods store, um, I, I I think it's funny when you say it's Whole Food, but then they still sell unwhole food for <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> whole interesting. Food. I see what they did there. Yeah, <laughs> I see what they did there. So we're gonna talk about that. Uh, in a second. Yes. <laughs> Let's pause for a word from one of our awesome sponsors. This portion of the show is sponsored by The Sphere. Are you starting your business and looking for a place to advertise? Do you have a need to reach out to thousands of people across the world to build your brand or sell your product? If so, get your product placement and advertising needs handled right here at The Sphere. We offer a wide variety of content delivery platforms, including iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Stitcher. 
Plus, we have a vast demographic reach within the United States as well as modern countries ac across the globe. Our enriched content and inspiring dialogue coupled with your strategic ad is surely to hit the mark every time. Call us today at area code 832-772-7789 or send an email over to advertise at thesphere.tv. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Shout out to the Sphere, baby. Good. So check this out. Uh, do you have a definition for real food? Real food? Yeah. Real food? Just real food. Like, I mean, you can use dictionary or your own personal like uh, description of what real food is to you. I have a definition right here. I just want to hear what you guys say about it. Um, <laughs> What's real food? I'm just going to wait for yours. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'd say clean eating, honestly. Yeah. Clean eating equals real food. Clean eating is real food. All mm -hmm. right, so check this out real quick. I'm going to read it real quick. So real food is free of genetically modified organisms, mm. okay, GMO, uh, chemicals, and pharmaceuticals, including artificial sweeteners, preservatives, pesticides, and this one big word that I can't pronounce, growth <laughs> hormones and antibiotics. All right, so... With that being said, a lot of the words that are in, in ingredients, if you can't pronounce, literally just let you know that it's not real food. Exactly. It's not real food. Mm -hmm. uh, I always look at it like if it doesn't have a root, it's not real food. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. So what is what is your day-to-day -day real food life like? My real food mm -hmm. life like? Um, well, meal prep is a big part of my life. I have to meal prep. If not, um, I get super hungry, and then I just eat. The entire pantry. So to have food, um, <laughs> you said the entire pantry. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be like that sometime. To have food available um, already cooked is super important for me to stick to my goals. So um, I like a lot of lean protein, mm -hmm. um, of course. Yeah, um, lots and lots of produce. If you're starting, you know, if you want to eat clean yourself, um, go for produce. Right. Lots and lots of fresh produce. Um, mm -hmm. So many ways you can prepare it. Um, what else? Load up on it for sure. Yeah. Um, how long does it take you to meal prep? Does it take you a while? I, I know for me, uh, it, it, it's a process. You know, it's a, it's a real process. I can knock it out. Because I've done it so many times, I can knock it out in about two hours. Really? Mm-hmm. So. And get myself from Sunday to Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Let's pause. Oh, that was just from the exit. Mm -hmm. So let's pause right there real quick. Okay. So a professional here, it takes her two hours, all right, to prep her food, mm -hmm, all right? Mm -hmm. And that's from, you said, Sunday to Wednesday? Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay, Sunday to Wednesday. So for two hours out of your mm -hmm. busy day, <laughs> <laughs> and I, look, I'm putting myself out there too because a lot of time I'm like, I don't have time to meal prep, I don't have time to meal prep. You do have time to meal prep. On days when it's you like, too. I like, it's, it's super, I mean, obviously it's really important. Take two hours and that's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yes, so you it's, got it's four so days. worth your time. It's so worth your time. Time and money. You will not regret it. Yeah. Just to go to the fridge, pull out a meal, it's worth it. Right. And then nowadays they make it somewhat easier to have those little containers to where if you have to, if you're not weighing every single thing, which is something I, I'm getting better at weighing my food. If you just like put your food in the actual container side, it literally like tells you how much, you know, like if you do a half a cup or a full cup, or if you do an ounce here, yes, there's Tupperware that lets you know like how what? much is in there. Yeah, yeah. No, it's actually. Oh, very cool. Yeah, it's actually right on point. I mean, obviously you got to pay the money for it, but that's for us lazy people who don't like to like <laughs> take the time to actually do things. You know what I mean? <laughs> so like literally, so for four days, four days, it took you two hours to prep food for four days. All right. And, Sometimes we'll sit down for two hours and scroll through Facebook um, yes. and, and actually not do anything at all. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Meal prepping, definitely, and I'm, I'm a product of it. Obviously, she does it all the time. Um, saves time, saves money, mm -hmm. okay? Save your life. Right. It, <laughs> keep, it keeps you on track. Mm -hmm. Exactly. At least you know what you're eating. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's mm -hmm. the thing that you know what you're eating. So that's why, I mean, we go to, I go to certain places like Salada. Uh, even I go, if I have to go to a fast food restaurant, I know exactly what I'm going to pick and eat. Yeah. Like if I go to. Salada's uh, variety is unmatched. Yeah, man. Miles and miles of just options. Just everything you want. You know, mm -hmm. we got to, we really got to get them on the show. We're talking about doing way too much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you can go coming. anywhere. Um, even if you go to Chipotle sometime, like, yo, let's give me that brown rice, cut that meat off, don't put no cheese on there. Some of the basic things, you know what I mean? You can do that over and over and over. I, I'm going to say it too, but every now and then I'll go to Jack in the Box, but it's late at night. <laughs> it's late at night because I'm a musician. I'll be out playing. I'll be doing my thing. If it's late at night and I'm, 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 I've eaten all my food, I'll go to Jack in the Box and say, look, give me three orders of fresh eggs, please. As I say, just give me the eggs. Really? Yeah. They have to prepare for you, oh, cool. like literally. So, because they egg not egg rolls, but no. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, know what's crazy? What I just thought about mm. in college before 
all the all the clean eating, all that. Mm. Sunny and I used to go to Jack in the Box at like two, three in the morning. Oh, God, I'm t- I'm tacos. talking about egg rolls, stuffed jalapenos, no, fry, all of it. No, at two, Sunny, ooh, goodness. Memories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag memories. You know, and man, I, I thought about uh, I said something the other day, and I, I wouldn't even think about it. I was talking to another one of my clients. He was like, you know, they make it so easy, and I'm going to use this word loosely and carefully at the same time. They make it so easy to die. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause, Sad but true. Yeah, like seriously, 99 cent this. You get five doggone items for like $3 this. Like, you, you 50 get nuggets for $10. You know what I mean? Like seriously. And in our mind, we're like, yo, that's a lot of food. I can get all that. <laughs> you mean to tell me I can get 50 nuggets for three dollars <laughs> load me I'm up on, on them I'm, there. I'm, I'm, I'm there. on it you know what i mean because we've like <laughs> we're eating for taste and not for nutrition yeah you yeah. know what i mean uh thinking of jack in the box i remember them, them tacos for two for a dollar yes them little, gre- <laughs> them little greasy tacos i'm sorry you know we're not trying to call out nobody's business but at the same time like y'all know them them tacos ain't good for y'all you know for fact yeah. it's not good then you want to open the thing and say oh they got meat in there <laughs> That brings me to my next topic real quick, real quick. Like certain things that we say are clean. I, we talked about bread and, and, and different things like that. But just because it says that it's healthy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, companies got that bad. Man, those, they got those that so bad. seemingly healthy keywords. Yeah. Mm-mm. No, like seriously, like if you get a protein bar, not calling nobody's name, it just says protein right on it. Mm-hmm. And you're mm-hmm. like, oh, I, Ooh, I need that. I, you mm-hmm. know, you're thinking it's like I got 23 grams of protein. First of all, it's a whole lot of gro- uh, pro- protein in a bar at a convenience store. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? I understand, like, don't get me wrong. If you're, like, a uh, a professional, you're a bodybuilder, you've been doing this for a while, and you just have to get something on the go, you're not eating food, it makes sense. But yeah. for the average everyday person who's, like, I'm trying to eat healthy, I'm trying to eat clean, don't do and it. don't do not do that. Mm-mm. Because on the Mm-mm. back of that, flip it over. Mile-long ingredient man, list. Man, you're going to see one ingredient that you should just automatically put it down, high fructose corn syrup. Mm-mm. As soon as yeah. you see that, I don't care if it says it has miracle working powers. <laughs> if you eat this right now, you're going to lose 10 pounds. You turn on the back, the things say high fructose corn syrup, get rid of it. Yeah. Like, don't do, like, it, don't don't do, do it. it at all. Uh, so, another thing granola bars. Granola bars. Make your own. I just made some homemade granola. That is you on my uh, Man, you got, Instagram is, you page. You are really well. fit foodie Lee. Like, she is a fit foodie for real. <laughs> you you got to be careful. Yeah. They try to get you and tell you granola is healthy and it's, it's full of sugar, most yeah. of them. So, just make it yourself. Then you can control what you put in it. Stevia. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Plug in the Stevie as well. We're gonna have him on the show as well too. So, what does a good granola consist of? Um, it, honestly, some um, some dried fruit. Um, some uh, some. I love walnuts in my dried granola. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, like, hold on, real quick. So, all right, this is just me being corny though, because I don't really eat granola bars at mm-hmm. all. But so, a granola is like whatever you put together. It's not just like. You, know. you can make you can make it a bar and shape it into a bar if you want, or you can just make it loose crumbles, put it on some yogurt. Oh, I always see granolas. I think oats automatically. Yeah, oatmeal. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, so you can actually take oats and put everything on it. So yeah, mix it, it all in and bake it, mm-hmm. and then it gets. We crispy. just learned something today. Pause. Hold that. Can we go talk about this granola again? Because I'm so mad at myself <laughs> now that I know I could actually make my own granola bar. Yes, super simple. <laughs> yeah, definitely under that. But this portion of our show is sponsored by Elite Dental Wellness. At Elite Dental Wellness, our vision is to create a welcoming practice that will offer our exceptional dental care and a lifetime of dental wellness. We are committed to the finest possible oral care and overall health and well-being of our patients. Elite Dental Wellness is built upon a foundation of integrity, expertise, and service. Through our commitment to modern dentistry and continuing education, our friendly atmosphere, we strive to make our patients feel like they are part of our family. Dentistry can be scary, daunting, and uncomfortable. Dr. Batiste and her team will work tirelessly to ensure your comfort. Make sure you make your appointment today with Dr. Sharonda Batiste at Elite Dental Wellness by calling 713-789-8680. Okay, yes. I know we're almost coming to the end. I just, just real quick, I just want to talk about this granola real quick. Okay, it just, <laughs> just kind of got me all excited. Okay, so <laughs> you can actually it. make a good healthy granola bar yes homemade granola i'm not talking about any other companies again this is we're not bashing about these companies because we know but if you look on the back of some of those ingredients you'll see like one granola bar may have 230 grams of calories in it like mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. a lot for a small little bar yeah just a little a little bit of bar i mean mm-hmm. i think your average meal your average healthy meal may have about 400 you know grams of calories give or take, you know, mm-hmm. give, or take and give or take it too so, so think about it, you have one little bar okay mm-hmm. <laughs> that has 230 plus grams of calories in it first having a big meal that has a little bit more and stuff that you can actually digest. You know what I mean? Well, I know what I would rather have. What? 
Oh, the food. For oh, sure. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> I don't want the food more than anything. Like, but definitely. yeah, homemade granola is so simple. Okay. You've got to try it. Yeah. Good. It's super simple. You can, you know, add in anything you like, pistachios, walnuts. So you're saying you go bring something next show, basically? I mean, I guess I could, you know. Yeah, I heard that, right? <laughs> she bringing something next show. Just for you. Just for you. Thank you so much. Um, I want to point out that what well what clean eating does not mean some mm-hmm. misconceptions so just because it is clean um it doesn't mean that processed foods are the devil or the enemy mm. okay say that one more time <laughs> say that one more time we're gonna go to church right now and it doesn't mean that yeah. you know it, just because some foods are clean that all the other foods are bad or dirty or okay. bad for you you know yeah um so some processed foods that we eat canned tuna canned tuna that's a good one yeah i was thinking yeah canned tuna is another one i mean it's it's not the best i think it depends on somebody's overall health because it does have a little bit of sodium in it it does but I it think can if you get the can't can, wa- can, packed wa- in water yeah the water mm-hmm. can can in the water tuna in water <laughs> 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 tuna in water uh mm-hmm. those that have a, a lot less sodium in it exactly uh, even mm-hmm. sardines sometimes mm-hmm. like sardines they don't smell good but they taste good and they're good for you <laughs> 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 What's another one that's just it's processed, but it's good for you? Um, I get. Um, I mean, just think about it. Peanut butter. Peanut we eat butter. peanut butter out of, out of yeah. a tub. But oh, if you want to look on the I back like of your peanut butter. A lot of peanut butter say you know natural and stuff like that, but they add you know either canola oil or yeah. some type of oil. If you turn it around the back, it should just say peanuts. Peanuts. Mm-hmm. That's it. Like turn pe- around and read it. I love uh, P eight. PA, PA peanut butter? Yeah. yeah. You got about like a 23 grams of protein like mm-hmm. every two scoops. Something That's like good that. stuff. That's good stuff. And the ingredients are maybe, like I said, in my opinion, if it has more than seven ingredients in it, more than likely it's not good for yeah. you. That's it. Mm-hmm. What else you got? You got something else? Right um, also, um, canned and frozen produce. It's, it's not bad. You know, fresh is best, of course. But mm-hmm. again, just look on the package. You can make, make sure that that ingredient is the only thing in there. Right. So. And not just everything mm-hmm. i know everything. when i get fresh produce sometimes i don't get to it in time and it goes bad so getting the frozen kind is not you right. know nothing wrong with that at all, it's not bad at all. make it last longer so to wrap it up you guys I'm, I'm gonna give you the slogan i literally just made it up if it doesn't have a root give it the boot oh <laughs> 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 uh, we'll get it we'll get a shirt that says that too <laughs> If it doesn't have a root, give it the boot. Oh that means eat everything that's clean that comes out of the ground. If it doesn't have a root, give it the boot. I got, you know what? I got to get. That was good. Thank you. That, that was, was on the awesome. fly, too. I literally made it up. So, guys, stay tuned real quick. We're going to actually get into our workout segment uh, at, here at Activate real quick. Don't go anywhere. Don't forget, follow me at Ricky Getwood Jr. underscore motivates. Ch- ch- check it out. I got boot camps early in the morning. Uh, 445 Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Any, oh, man, I'm, I'm all on it. Life coaching, <laughs> anything you need in there, I got you. Stay tuned. Lee, where you at? Where we find you to go in? You can find me on Instagram at Lee guys. Thank you so much for joining us. And you can also come over to my blog where you'll find plenty of dairy-free recipes, healthy recipes, all that good stuff. FitFoodieLee.com. If it don't have a roof, give it the boot. If hey! it don't have a roof, hey! give it the boot. If it don't have a roof, give it the boot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hello guys. Welcome to Activate. My name is Leah Eguatu. Thank you guys so much for joining us. I hope you are ready for this workout, ready as we are. Um, you can follow me on uh, Instagram at FitFoodieLee, and also please check out my blog, FitFoodieLee.com. I have my co-host with me. What up, man? It's your man, Ricky Paul Getwood Jr. here. Check me out on Instagram at RPGM underscore US, and I hope you guys are ready to get this killer workout in. Guys, I'm letting my sis take over today, so just be ready. Just be ready no matter what. Whether you're a buff guy, lean guy, whatever, this is for everybody, but for everybody. Just, just, let's just right. get it on. You'll be all right. We'll show you modifications. You'll be fine. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Is that good, Charles? Or should we do it again? Oh, was I too close? Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, we're going to start out with a front. Right and left. Inhale, exhale. Uh-huh. Inhale up. Exhale, blow it out. Do it again. Inhale up. Exhale. Again, again. Up. <laughs> exhale out. One more. 
Inhale up. All right, step to this right here. Watch me. To the right and left. Right and left. So reach and pull. Arms out long. Pulling it back to you. Warming up upper and lower uh -huh. body. <laughs> nice steps. Keep going. Stepping. Make it a little bit wider. Get a little bit lower. Okay. There you go. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Definitely getting that cardio in today. <laughs> oh, yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Three, two. All right. This is just a warm up. Guard up right here just to warm up. Just We're going to twist and warm up that torso. Elbows high. Twist. Twist. Keep going. There it's you like go. Windshield wipers. Now take that. <laughs> <laughs> Lift that back heel as you twist. Eight more. Good. Eight. That's good for the core. Six. Me tight. There you go. Six. Five. Give me four. Three. Two. Good. We're going to reach it overhead, left and right. Watch me. Up. Up. There you go. Left and right. Reach. It's a normal reach. to start sweating so soon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good sign. <sighs> Come on. Reach up tall. Inhale. Exhale. Keep it going. Eight more. Seven. Good. Six. Y'all smiling? Five. Four more. Four. <laughs> Three. <laughs> two. One, jumping jacks right here. Woo. Woo. Now modification. You can step it out to the right and to the left. Only if you need it. You don't need it. Come on. I don't need it? Going. Okay, you're right. I don't need it. <laughs> yeah, I don't need it. That's only if you need it, guys. Only if you need it. A more. That's not a lazy one. That's a lazy person workout. <laughs> but only if you need it. Five. Give me four. Three. Here's the more challenge. Keep smiling. Keep smiling. Exactly. <laughs> All right, run it out right here. Push up, push up. Come on. Feel to your glutes. Woo. A little Who's bit higher. Uh oh. Skills all day. <laughs> Look at that. Still going no matter what. That's when you. That's when you're serious about it. Exactly. Got issues and still keep going. That's what it's about. That's life right there. That's it all day. Six. Ooh, life lesson. <laughs> life lesson while working out. Look at you. You get two for one. Four. <laughs> Three. Two. One. Bring it on down. We're going to squat. Woo. Look down and up. All right. Show me some good form. Knees behind your toes. Yep. Sit back in that chair. Down and up. Woo. Good. Heart so rate should be elevated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Squeezing your glutes. Press from your heels. Inhale. Exhale. Woo. Sink it down in those heels. Good. We're going to change it up and add on the knee. Woo. Right now. Squat. Knee. Mm. Knee. Uh. Right and left. Wow. Eat your goo. Woo. Might as well have fun with it. Might as well have fun. With you it. got to. Uh, uh, Last eight. Glutes eight. And abs. Glutes Seven. And abs. Six. And abs. Good. Five. Four more, guys. Yeah. Four. Uh. Three. Boom. Two. Boom. One. Check it out, check it out. How you feel? I feel great. Ready? I feel so good. <laughs> I'm sweating. Good My answer. legs are already. This is awesome. <laughs> this is good. All right, y'all. This is how it's going to go down. We're going to do one, two, three moves. Three minutes. Fourth minute, we're going to rest, recuperate, and do it again. So we got three rounds. Three rounds? First exercise. Yes, sir. Yeah, let's do it. We got squats again. Remember those? We just did them. Yeah. Only thing, they're drop squats. So get low and quick. Here we go. Down up. One minute. Woo. Make sure you check your breathing patterns. When it's the hardest is when you should breathe the most. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Inhale, Inhale, exhale. exhale. Can you lift your toes and your shoes? Make sure. Keep going. Ah. And it doesn't matter whether you look funny or not. As long as you got the right form. Woo. If you're feeling it in your knees, then you need to adjust something. Keep going, keep going. Can you get lower? Can you get quicker? We keep can. Going. Let's go. Go for it. I'm going for it. Woo. Nice work, Ricky. Keep going, Thank keep you. going. Thank you. You might as well challenge yourself while you're here. Got to. Challenge equals change. How you doing out there? Ten more seconds. Ten. Six. Three. Yeah. <laughs> Two. Yeah. Next exercise. Why? Ready? Yes. Curtsy lunges. Right into it. You're going to stay low. Hit it right, hit it left. 
Now, if the floor is too far, you can just reach for it. But I still want you low. Imagine there's a table, and you got to go under it. Yeah? yeah? Can't hit your head. Keep going. Yeah. There's another name for these. If, guys, you don't want to say curtsy lunges, <laughs> let's say power skaters. That too. Skater We're calling them power skater lunges. Woo. Where are you feeling this, Ricky? I'm feeling it in my inner thighs, <laughs> my glutes, in my, everywhere. my quads. Nice. Keep it going. Now, when you lunge, here's a tip. Pull your core up off the top of your thighs. Nice. Don't let it rest. Keep going. Oh, Woo. yeah. Lower abs, too. Oh, yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Couple more. About 20 seconds. Back this flat. This is perfect for those who are like, I want that nice booty. Oh, yeah. Oh, here you go. Oh, yeah. Push through your heels. Knee, knee stays behind your toes. Seven. Six. Five. Come on. Four. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Two. You ready? Yeah. We're going down for upper body. Third Woo! exercise. As many push-ups as you can on your toes. Yeah. Then we'll hit it those knees come on modification you can actually hit your knees right away or go all the way down to your thighs and press up from here body flat Woo. yes are you breathing Inhale, i am exhale Woo. i feel it i feel oh. it keep working ah. push-ups are perfect to get your heart rate pumping Agreed. Blood circulating through your chest. Make your chest feel great. Your heart Woo. will thank you later on. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh. Keep going, keep going. Woo! <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Heavenly Father, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> <I'll own him. laughs> We're going to get through this workout one way or another. 10 seconds, guys. Oh. Best you can. Just don't quit. Just don't quit. Don't quit. Four. Everybody goes through. Three. Two. One. Yay! Sit it back. You have Woo! one minute of rest. Okay. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Uh, as soon as you're ready, stand up. Keep your head above your heart. What happens when breathe. you don't? That's how people pass out. Yes, you could definitely pass like out. Like if you're ever getting up and you jump up too fast, Get you a little like dizzy. feel that dizziness. You're yeah. going down. Rise up slowly. Nice and slow. Mm -hmm. Got a good sweat going, sis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Second set coming up. Rest, breathe, get, get a sip of water. Mamas, check on your babies. Yeah, fellas, <laughs> check on your bodies. At home. Make sure you're not passing out. Exactly. We just want to have fun, y'all. Oh, yeah. Have fun and keep it going. So, we're going to do this again, guys. Same format, but I got three new exercises for you. I love it. 20 more seconds, it. and we'll give it a go. Let's do it. Psyched. Ready. 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 Ready, ready, <laughs> let's go, let's go. You gotta have fun with it, you huh. got to. It's boring if you don't have fun. Woo. Who wants to have a boring workout? Not me. Mm -mm. We wanna stay consistent for sure. All right, you ready? I'll do it, let's do it. All right, you asked talk? for it, so these are called frog squats. Woo. You're gonna come on down, put your elbows inside your knees. We got one minute, so you're gonna lift your glutes, drop your glutes, back flat, tummy tight. Here we go, up and down. Woo. Fellas, just do it. <laughs> Fellas, just do it. Don't ask no questions. It works. But if That's you want it. those hamstrings <laughs> popping, That's it. this is the exercise for you. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Woo! What y'all don't realize is that we go through the same thing y'all go through. Okay? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you just got to do it as much as you can, as often as you can. Right now, I'm like, why did I pick this? Exactly. <laughs> just take the pain. Turn the pain into pleasure. Let me turn to the side. Knees do not extend past your toes, guys. Right here. Down and up. Press. Woo! Good. This is good. Man. Oh, if you need to take a break, take one. I'm All right, right you back feel in. like beasting it out, beast it out. <laughs> but don't hurt yourself. 20 seconds. Ah. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Don't be afraid of the pain, y'all. Break. <laughs> if you got to take the pain, just take it. 10. Take the pain. Take it. Oh, my goodness. Ah. Two, one, <laughs> done. Oh, can't take it out. Next exercise. Right to it, right to it. Forward lunges here. But I want you to bend your arms. So opposite arm, opposite leg. Oh. Woo. And down. One minute, guys. You got it. Keep breathing. 
Make sure you're not overstepping. Okay? Exactly. Step as far as you possibly can, and as much control as you can. Mm-hmm. You don't have to go all the way down to the ground. Because if you go down to the ground, you may not get back up. Woo! You know what I mean? <laughs> Drop it down, put it back, switch. <sighs> Keep working, guys. Good. Over halfway there. You're almost done. We're almost there. Home stretch. Home stretch. Woo! Get it done. Just get it done. That's it. Ten seconds, guys. Come on. Don't stop. Push yourself. Push yourself. Stay with us. Four, three, two. Last exercise before your break. Two throughs. Holy moly. Yes. You're going to drop your hip. Opposite hand up. Switch. Woo! What's a good modification for that? And just kick. Yep, just kick out to the side. Right and left. Good. But if you can, drop that hip down. Bring it back. Feel like a break dancer. Woo. Yeah, a little bit. Break dancer. <laughs> Check your body. Make sure you can control it more than anything. Yes. Way to go, Leah. Thanks. Come on, guys, extend that leg out there. Keep moving, keep breathing. Over halfway there. Woo! I'm using this one tomorrow. <laughs> you can have it. Really? Thanks. <laughs> My body's having it right now. <laughs> Come on, 15. Uh. It's Less than 10. Good. Sweat game, baby. Sweat game. Three, two, one. Woo! Woo! Uh, Another one. Uh. Can you do that one more time? Yes, yes we can. We <laughs> want to do it so bad. That's rest, good. Rest, 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 guys. Grab some water. Breathe. Air. One more set. Control your breathing no matter what. Breathe normal. Don't start hyperventilating. Allow Thank your muscles you know. to cool off properly. Mm -hmm. That's a good one, Leah. Thank you. Gotta give it to you now. Appreciate that. If y'all can look down here and see this, I know you can't. This is sweat. Yes. You want that. Yeah. That's your body constantly burning fat over and over and over. Burning fat, building muscle. That's what we want. Oh, yeah. We own it. All right, guys. Coming up on our last set of exercises. I'll do a quick demo for what you. you. So, back to legs, of course. Plie squat. Plie squat. You're gonna turn your knees and your toes. Out to the side, <coughs> down and up. <coughs> yep. Plie squats. Plie squats. Is this a ballerina move? That's the first one. <laughs> I think so, actually, <laughs> yes. Okay. So instead of forward lunges this time, we're just going to take it back, reverse lunges. Yeah. But I want both hands in the air this time. Nice. Yeah? Yeah. And for your last move, you're going to come to the floor, full body crunches. Nice. In and out. Good. One minute. Notice you ready? How she has complete, do it one more time. Oh. So Notice hands how she has up, complete control out. over her body. You weren't jerking anything. It doesn't matter how fast you go or how slow you go. As long as you're doing it correctly. Good. That's real good. Whew. All right, guys. All right. Get it done. Let's Last do it. round right Let's here. Let's do it. We're doing it. All right. We're on it. Plie squat. Get set. Get set. Turn your knees and your toes out to the side. I feel like I'm going to do typewriter like me. <laughs> like MC Hammer. Right. Oh, 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 oh. He put me on the mix. Okay, oh, let's yeah. go. Imagine you have a pane of glass in front of you and behind you, and you can't touch it. Here we go. Straight down, straight up. Whew. Oh. It's also important, do not lock out your knees. So none of that, right? right. Keep it soft and loaded. Nice. Down and up. Whew. This is good. Oh, yeah. Where are you feeling this, Ricky? I'm already feeling it. Where, like where, where? Uh, upper quads, hip flexors. Any inner glutes, thigh? Inner thighs, definitely inner thighs. <laughs> uh, one thing you guys want to be aware of, if you have any type of knee issues, if you got too far and you feel that pinch or that tingling in your knees, you're going too far. Go as low as oh, your body mm -hmm. allows you to go. Widen your stance if you feel that there in your go. knees. Good. Whew. Over halfway there, guys. Come on. Get low. Then get lower. <laughs> and lower. Woo. And lower. Yeah, yeah. And lower. Don't forget, don't forget to keep your core tight. Hold Breathe on. Breathe normal. If your core is not tight, your body ain't right. Oh! <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Put that on I the t-shirt. I made that one up just on the spot. <laughs> Freestyle, baby. Y'all.
<laughs> Four, <laughs> three, <laughs> two, one. Next exercise. Reverse lunges with arms. Nice. Woo. I'm getting out of my sweat spot. <laughs> Find some room. Come on, reach up tall, both arms up as you descend into your lunge. There you go, right left. Inhale, exhale. Woo. Yes. Anytime you have your arms raised above your head, you automatically activate your core. Yep, yep. Good tip. Woo. Breathe normal. With every dynamic move, make sure you breathe. Way to go, y'all. Push through. Keep pushing. Less than 20. Don't forget, if you have to modify it, modify it. But keep going. You got to get your arms a break. That's cool. You got to get your legs a break. Cool. Whew. But recover and get right back to it. Just like I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> you snuck that in there. <laughs> Five. Whatever it takes to get through the workout. <laughs> Three. Two. One more. One more. Last exercise. Let's get it. Drop down. Full body conscious, guys. Hands up, feet out. Let's do it. Bring Let's them do down. It. Shoot them out. Here's up. Mod some off modification. Yes, you can keep your feet on the floor. There you go. Or you can hover them. Woo. Good. Make sure you have a mat, guys, at home. You don't want to irritate your tailbone at all. Exactly. And out. Come on, bring it in. Woo. Switch out. Make sure you control yourself going down. And you don't flop down. It's just as much of an exercise going down mm -hmm. as it is going up. True, true. Come on, keep those feet and knees together. Pull, push. Over halfway there, guys. Come on, stay with we us. Yeah, just get through it. Just keep moving. Whatever it takes to get it done, just get it done. Woo! I Come get excited on. when I work out, so don't mind my yelling and screaming. <laughs> Less than 10, guys. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Woo! That's a wrap. That How you killer. doing? You okay? Are you okay? I think I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm going to be okay. You know why? <laughs> <laughs> Great job, guys! We all right. Come on up, come on up. <sighs> shake it off. Oh, yeah, shake it out, shake it out. Make sure you rehydrate, refuel, re-energize, take a nap. <laughs> take a nap. <laughs> if you need it. We thank you guys so much for joining us. We hope you got an awesome workout and you feel as good as you look. Exactly. I am Leah Iguatu. You can follow me on um, Instagram at FitFoodieLee and also my blog, FitFoodieLee. Dot com. Wood and also it's your man Ricky Getwood Jr. Follow me on Instagram at RPGM underscore US. And here's the thing. Stay active, stay fit, stay happy. Have an amazing day. Beep. You know I did abs today, right? <laughs> man, my abs hurt so bad. Your abs? Oh. Whoa, I did abs.